Thank you, Dr. Benishek. At this particular time, I'd like to welcome to the podium the moderator and uh, co-chair of the Democrat. Excuse me. <laughs> The Republican Party. <laughs> <laughs> yes, first of all, I have never been affiliated with the Democratic Party. <laughs> We're expecting uh, Greg Andrews from Governor Snyder's office in today, but he had some scheduling conflicts. But he did send a note here that I'm going to read. Um, bear with me, I got it about an hour and a half ago, so it's not quite memorized. Starts off with good, good evening, everyone. First, I'd like to congratulate Paul Walker and the Schoolcraft GOP for hosting such a wonderful event. I wish I could be with you all today. Second, I'd like to thank you for welcoming my family and me to the UP. Moving to a new community has both challenges and opportunities, and we certainly appreciate the friendship we have in the room. What a year it has been for a great state of Michigan. One year ago, Governor Snyder and our legislators took their oaths under very difficult conditions and have done a remarkable job. Over the last decade, Michigan has lost 857,000 jobs. During this time, we experienced a mass exodus of our youth and talent as we were the only state to lose population over the last census. We even lost a congressional seat. Michigan has not, was not last in everything. We did lead the country in foreclosures and unemployment. <laughs> Michigan had a $1.5 billion deficit. Prior years, Lansing was unable to balance the budget on time leading to government shutdowns. We were on the ropes. We've been in a free fall for so long, we almost got used to it. Thankfully, that's where we were. That is the past. Our administration is focused on solving problems, on bringing the citizens of Michigan's value for money and changing the Lansing culture from being negative to positive. As we witnessed, Governor Snyder is not pointing fingers or laying blame. Not once have we heard Governor Snyder lament about the position Michigan is in or was when he took office. Quite frankly, it's a waste of time and energy. Wouldn't it be nice if our speaker or our spender in chief took the same approach? Yes. Sorry, had to throw that one in. From the beginning, Governor Snyder and our legislature have understood our state's condition as they focused on solving problems. 2011 saw relentless positive action from Governor Snyder and our legislature. Together, we were able to make sweeping positive reforms to reinvent Michigan. Please keep in mind these changes were not easy. Our team carried a lot of the heavy water over the last 12 plus months. If I list all the, listed all the accomplishments for the year, Paul would be here for a lot longer than he'd like, and he'd likely take me to the woodshed the next time we see each other. So I'll just touch on some of the big stuff. In 2011, we saw a structurally balanced budget, the earliest in 30 years. The elimination of a $1.5 billion deficit without any one-time fixes or accounting gimmicks. Tax reform eliminated the job-killing MDT to a 6 percent flat corporate tax that is simple, fair, and efficient. No more double taxation for our job creators. The preservation of 98% of the education funding during the budget process. The creation of stable funding source for the, un or for the successful Pure Michigan advertising campaign to grow tourism and rebrand our great state. Teacher tenure reform, regulatory reform, government reform urging local units of government to use the best practices and regional cooperation. The reining in of cost of public employee benefits. <coughs> An updated emergency manager law. A refocused MEDC to provide greater assistance to Michigan businesses. The governor demonstrated fiscal responsibility by putting $255 million into the rainy day fund and paying down the unfunded liabilities by $400 million. The governor openly support the expansion of mining and timber industries. These and the rest of our 2011 accomplishments are on, the outs are on its outstanding start to the reinvention of Michigan, but we have a lot more to do. Today, just like in 2011, Michigan is getting it right and getting it done. 
As we look to the future, Michigan needs to focus on continuing its reinvention, which brings us to transportation and infrastructure. We cannot reinvent our state without first shoring up its foundation. The same innovative thinking will be vital as we seek to rebuild our aging sewer systems and unsure, unsure safe drinking water for all our families. Further, Governor Snyder stated, better roads drive better jobs. Michigan put the world on wheels, and we need to continue to be a transportation leader in order to stay competitive in today's global economy. As we look to the future, it's vital we invest and upgrade our road system, sewer, water, broadband, and yes, bridges. Let's discuss bridges for one second. This is the perfect segue to the bridge in Detroit. The NITC project is vital to Michigan's future. If we are to expand trade with our largest trading partner, Canada, we need another bridge that is in direct connect from our freeway system to Canada's. The current system is proven to be inefficient at best. Bridges between countries are proven economic arteries. We need more flow. In closing, Governor Snyder ran it on the platform of jobs one is job one is jobs, and he is making a good on that statement. 2012 will prove to be another outstanding year for the reinvention of Michigan. We need to keep our team intact to continue this momentum. It is vital that our legislators from up here in God's country stay in office. Please give them as much support as possible during the next election. Thank you, Greg Andrews. Well, we're going to start our candidate forum, and we are pre-allotting time. I know you're probably asking why we do that, but believe it or not, some of these guys can really, really talk. <laughs> our, uh, first up, we're going to have a representative, and make sure you understand that our order is all random. It's not alphabetical. It's not by preference, so no one get upset with me. But uh, first up, our U.S. President.